Hi, second graders. How are you? This is Mrs. Demas. Sorry, I'm adjusting a little bit. Um, today, our math lesson is going to be two, actually, math lessons. We are going to talk about um, measuring with a yardstick and measuring with a meter stick. So it's kind of like double. A yardstick and a meter stick are both very similar. So if you were in my class by the door, you would have seen, you guys probably remember, we had a little stack because I used to teach third grade and we did the metric system. So I had a stack of meter sticks and yard sticks that we used to trip over as we'd walk out the door. So we ended up moving those um, to a different place, but they were by the door, okay? So we're gonna talk about those today. So your job in your mind right now is gonna be thinking, what does that look like? Okay, do I remember what that looks like? So I'm gonna introduce you to a couple vocabulary words first. Okay, the first vocabulary word we're going to talk about is agree. Okay, so we know what agree means. Everyone has to agree, right, on something. We all have to agree on it. Okay, like what game will we play at recess? We all need to agree on that, okay? And we'll talk about that later, why we need to agree on something. The next word we're going to talk about is foot. And I don't mean my foot that I'm going to walk on. I mean a foot, as in 12 inches. There we go. This is a ruler, and I don't have a yardstick at my house because I'm a teacher. Everything's in my classroom at school. This is actually Alec Demas's ruler um, <laughs> that I found in the drawer when I was scavenging around for things to teach with at home. <clears throat> so this is Alec's ruler that he um, must have thrown in the drawer. It is a 12-inch ruler, so that is one foot. 12 inches, one foot, okay? So think in your mind, what might I have in my house that is one foot long, okay? Keep that in your brain for a second. And the next word, yard, yard. Hmm, I don't mean your backyard, which I'm sure you've been playing in a lot. Uh, today it's more sunny, yesterday was not so much. So today, backyard, I'm sure you'll be out there, but that's not what we're talking about. What we're talking about today is a yard stick. So we're gonna talk about the yard stick, how it relates to one of these rulers, okay? So there's another vocabulary word. So far we've got agree, foot, yard. And then the last, almost last word is standard, as in a standard unit. So I know we've talked about this a little bit in the classroom before. If I called the carpet store and said, I need some carpet in my living room and it needs to be about 125 paper clips long. Is that a standard unit, paper clips? What do you think? Think about that for a minute. Paper clips. There's many sizes of paper clips. If you guys remember in my handy dandy little case on my desk, I had some teeny tiny paper clips. I had some normal standard size paper clips. I had some jumbos. And then I actually had a really large couple paper clips that I could use for like big things. And some of you did also for your planners. You had some big paper clips to hold your places. So if I called and said 125 paper clips, that's what I need that much. They would be like, okay, I don't know what you're talking about. Which paperclip size do you need? So when we talk about going back to our vocabulary words, we all need to agree on a standard unit of measurement. We all need to agree that a foot is how many inches? Everyone answer with me. A foot is 12 inches, 12 inches. So I'm gonna write that down. A foot is 12 inches, okay? And then a yard, notice I wrote down yard, a yard is three feet. And then I'm gonna make another arrow. A yardstick is three feet, but how many inches is that? Hmm. Now I know some of my friends are already adding up. They're doing 12 plus 12 plus 12. 12 plus 12 plus 12. Now I know Mrs. Green did four add-ends with you. Here we've got three add-ends. So we've got 12 plus 12 plus 12 or 12 times three. What is it? Go ahead, add it up. I'll give you a minute. Some of you are already saying it. I know you are. So we're gonna count by twos. Ready? Two, four, six. Um, did we even have to regroup there? No, so simple. One plus one plus one is 
and I know you guys are already saying it with me, 36. So three feet is 36 inches. I'm just gonna write that right on there, okay? So let's talk about what we've got. We all have to agree on a standard unit of measurement, meaning if I call the store and say I need three feet of carpet, everybody knows what I need. We're not guessing, okay? So I'm gonna draw an arrow. We need to agree on a standard unit of measurement. There we go, okay? So those two words kind of go together. We know that a foot is, everyone say it with me, 12 inches. Two feet is 24 inches. Three feet is 36 inches, which is one yardstick. Okay, so I have a bonus question. Now you might have to write this down if you have a piece of paper. If you don't have a piece of paper and a pencil, I might give you a second to go get one. Go ahead and get one, because you're gonna need it, okay? Okay, so you're back, yes? So you've got your paper, you've got your pencil, right? Okay, so I wrote down, oh, let's do this first. So a yardstick is three feet, which is 36 inches, right? So what's two yardsticks? If one yardstick is 36 inches, what's two yardsticks? Can we figure that out? Go ahead, try it. I'm going to switch my color. Okay. Now we've got a little <clears throat> bit of trickiness going on here. My columns. Six plus six. Hmm. What is six plus six? It's a double. So what is it? Six plus six is 12. Can I put 12 in this column? You should be shaking your head. No. This is a little bit where we left off at school. So my class, we were doing a little 12 in a circle. Some of the kids didn't even really need to do this, but some did. I'm gonna move it up so you can see it. So then we put the two down. We regrouped the one up top, right? Does that look familiar? Yep. And then we did three plus three is six plus one more gives me seven. So two yards would be 72 inches. That's kind of like the challenge problem here. 72 inches is two yardsticks. Okay, so that's a little bit of extra, a little bit of extra. And then moving on, to our last vocabulary word, estimation. So when we do estimation, we've talked about this a lot in the classroom, it's where we take a guess, where we take a good guess. We're not just taking any old guess, we're taking a good estimation, a good guess, like an estimated, educated guess, okay? All right, so let's review super quick. We have agree, we all need to agree, foot, yard, standard, we all have to agree on that standard, okay? And then estimation, estimate. Okay, so for example, if I was to say, think about your desk back at school. How many inches do you think that desk is? How many inches long from one side of it to the other? How many inches long? Okay, this would be for my class. I just remembered in my mind that Mrs. Green's class doesn't have the desks. You guys have those beautiful tables. So in your mind, Mrs. Green's class, because you have the whiteboard tables, how many inches long do you think the tables are? You can still make an educated or an estimate, an estimate, a good guess, okay? Um, your next job, speaking of taking an estimated, an estimate, <laughs> blah, 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 a good guess. I printed up the paper, but you can do this easily on any sheet of paper. This would be the lesson that you would be doing in the classroom with this piece of paper. And it also goes with the metric piece of paper, the meter stick. Okay, so what I'm going to do is flip my pad of paper. If you have a notepad, you can just flip also to a fresh piece. And I'm just going to label it with three columns. And they're going to say about an inch, about a foot, about a yard. Easy, right? So you're going to do the same, okay? I'm going to kind of make it look like this paper. 
I'm going to draw three columns, okay? I'm going to go all the way down, so hang on if you want to make yours look like mine. And I'm actually going to divide it in half because I'm going to use it for the metric also. Go ahead and do this. Okay? This is like when we did our directed drawings, when we did our zooms. And I would hold it up in the thing and wait for you guys to go ahead and do this. Go ahead and catch up. Now I'm going to label my headings at the top. Okay? Your job when we're done with this lesson is going to be to find things in your house that are about an inch, about a foot, and about a yard. And then once we talk about metric, you're going to have to try and find those. Um, you might need a ruler to help you. If you don't have a ruler, there are ways to get around that. If you can print one from online, you can find an online ruler. If your parents have a cell phone, that might help you out a little bit. There's ways to do that with an app. Um, so you might need a little bit of creative help with that, okay? Okay, so I'm going to do my headings. Let me show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go across the top and go like this, okay? And make columns, or I guess those would be rows, rows, sorry. Okay, so I've got three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Six pieces in total, okay? So the first one is going to be about an inch, about a foot, about a yard. So I'm going to write that down. Notice I'm using the word about. That would have been a good vocabulary word, about, because it does not have to be exact. It can be about an inch. What if I can't find something that's exactly an inch in my house? It can be about an inch. See this pen cap? It's about two inches. It's not exact. It's about two inches. Okay, so I could put that for two inches if I wanted to. So this is going to be about one inch. And I'm using the abbreviation for inch, which is I-N period. See that? You can do the same. Okay? And then we're going to use that word about again. You're going to be able to spell that really well. One FT for foot. And how many inches are in a foot? Everyone should be saying what? 12. 12 inches, 1 foot. Okay? And then about 1 YD for yard, as in yard stick. Okay? I feel like that one is going to be easy because it's the biggest. Like, for example, your doorway may be a yard stick wide, 3 feet wide. Maybe not. And then I'm going to number this. I'm going to do one, two, three. Can you do more than three? Of course, please. Absolutely. Then I'm going to do one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. So you're going to set your paper up. <clears throat> and then when you're done, this is your job. You're going to go and find things in your house, around your house. If you can't find something, you could get on a FaceTime call with a grandparent or a cousin and say, hey, do you have anything in your house that's about a foot long? And you could do a little comparing. Can you hear a dog barking in my background? Mm, Finn. Noisy. Mailman. It's mailman time right now. Now, those are our standard units that we use in the United States. Now, my class, I know we've talked about this before. Um, we use standard units. What are the standard units? Inches, feet, yards. Okay, that's what we use here in the United States. And if you go outside of the United States, to Canada, to Europe, uh, to anywhere else, do they use inches, yards, and feet? Nope. What do they use? They use the metric system, which is all based in zeros. They don't use all of this that we use. So we're going to talk a little teeny bit about that. We don't use it in the United States, but it's very easy to use. We do talk a little bit about it um, in our math program, so let's talk about that. Let's set our board up first, though, since we already have started. So we're going to put about one centimeter. Show me a centimeter. We've done this in the classroom. We've compared it to our fingernail. See my fingernail right here? It's about a centimeter. Oh, look at this fingernail. Mmm, that's about two inches. How did this happen? I cut my finger bad. I was cooking dinner yesterday and I totally cut my thumb really bad. I had to wrap it all up. It's disgusting. Mm, this is why I don't like to cook. 
Anyways, what else is there to do when you are stuck in your house though? You gotta cook dinner. Stink. Okay, so, sorry, back to work. About one centimeter, okay? Now you're gonna notice when you look at your rulers, you're gonna look and see what's bigger, centimeters or inches. So you're gonna do a little comparing, okay? Then you're gonna do about 10 centimeters, okay? It looks like a D, that's a 10. Squishy, okay. And then the last one, about one meter. And then I'm gonna number them one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, let me show you this. So this is how you're gonna set up your page, okay? All right, so you've got one centimeter, 10 centimeters, one meter stick. Okay, everyone good? Yes? And then I'm clicking over here. So some of the things that we would be doing at school and we would be putting into these columns, we would be talking about and looking at, with our rulers, the height of our desk. You could be looking at the height of your desk at home. You can be looking at the height of your kitchen table. You could be looking at the height of your chair, your TV, um, your loft. Some of you have loft type beds, your computer tables, anything that you have, any furniture that you have, kind of anything that you have at your house. Um, your cell phones, obviously, are you going to use, <laughs> there's Teddy on my cell phone. Are you going to use, in your mind, think, your bigger um, units or your smaller units for this? Are you going to use your whole meter stick for this or your smaller centimeters for this? So you want to start thinking in your mind, are you going to use your inches for this or your whole yardstick for this? So what are we thinking? Inches or yardstick? If you're thinking inches, yeah, correct. So let's kind of go like this right now, just with mine. Look at my cell phone. If you're in my class, you're always staring at my cell phone because you guys walk by it 20 times a day and you make comments about it. How many inches do you think my cell phone is? If you're showing me an inch, and I know you don't have, well, you might have a ruler out in front of you, and some of you have cell phones. How many inches long do you think my cell phone is? Do an estimate. I always like to do an estimate first, and then I like to actually do a measurement and see if I was correct. So take a guess. How many inches do you think my cell phone is? All right, do you have a number in your mind? Yeah, okay, so let's measure it. My guess is going to be five. I'll say five, five inches, I don't really know. So I'm gonna start, we've done a little bit of measurement, I'm gonna go down at the zero. Oh, look at that, six inches exactly. Just about six inches, six inches, okay? so. Estimate first, do your estimation, then do your actual measurement. Okay, so I'm gonna put that down. So that's kind of a fun thing to do. We would be doing the width of the door. We would be doing the whole length of our classroom if we were in the classroom. So we'd be measuring things like that if we were in our room. Uh, let's see what else we would be doing. We would be talking about what comes in the middle of, say, three inches and four inches. What if something measures right in the middle of three inches and four inches? I'm gonna give you a little, teeny, a little teeny think time. So I've got one inch, two inches, three inches, and it's right in the middle. It's not quite four inches. If you're thinking three and a half inches, are you correct? Yes, three and a half. Kind of like if it's not three o'clock, but it's not four o'clock, it's in the middle, it's 3.30. Same idea, it's in the middle, okay? So when you look at your ruler, take a look at it carefully, okay? Do all your counting, look at your middles, middle, 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 look at your middles. Now, I'm gonna flip my ruler. That was my inches side, okay? Look at your centimeter side. So we asked earlier, so I asked you earlier, What's bigger, an inch or a centimeter? My ruler looks a little dingy. 
So here's a whole inch. This is from 11 to 12. Can you see that? This is from zero to one. Just this little pen cap. This is one to two. This is two to three. This is three to four. So what's bigger, an inch or a centimeter? If you're saying inch, are you correct? Yes, you are. Inches are bigger than a centimeter. So you're gonna to wanna to make some observations like that. So some of my students, when we would be doing math, they would write down some observations. They would take some notes and they would write down observations. That would be a good observation to write down, okay? When you're taking your notes and when you're doing your measurements, okay? On your piece of paper after you're done with this, listening to me talk, okay? So this, make sure you have this done because we're just about at the end of our math lesson tutorial here. Make sure you have your ruler. And like I said, if you need something like a printed ruler, there are ways mom or dad can help you Google a printed ruler and you can print it and cut it out and use it. Um, there are apps that you can use. There's creative ways that I'm sure you can find a ruler to use for this assignment. And compare centimeters to inches. And then once you have that, you can compare a yardstick to a meter stick which is kind of fun because we have in my classroom a yardstick, which is your 36 inches, and I'm holding this up, but this is a yardstick is this big. And then we would flip it and it was a meter stick on the other side. Only here's the thing, a meter stick was 100 centimeters. Remember I said meters, the whole metric system is based on zeros. So a meter stick is 100 centimeters. But if I flip it back to yards, a yardstick is 36 inches, but to make it as long as a meter stick, they had to add three inches to it. So my kids would notice when they would be playing around with that, that the meter stick was really 39 inches long. What? Wait, what? What did you just say? I'll repeat that. So the meter stick, here's my whole meter stick, 100 centimeters. When they would flip it to the yardstick side, it was not 36 inches, it was 30 nine inches because they didn't match. They had to add three inches to make it a whole meter stick. Hmm, how about that? That would be something you could research and look up a little bit, okay? So that is our lesson on yardsticks and meter sticks and units of measurement and what other words did we talk about today? Let's review super quick. Agreeing on a standard unit so when we call the carpet store or wherever we need to and talk about measurements that we are all talking about the same things, about a foot being 12 inches, a yardstick being three feet, which is 36 inches, and estimation. Before you measure something, always do a good guess. Make a guess, take a guess. Because you might be right. You might be totally wrong too, is that okay? <laughs> yeah, totally fine. Sometimes I'm totally wrong. Ask my kids in my class, they know. It happens, oh well. Okay guys, this is kind of tricky to do, isn't it? I know you guys will do fine. I know you will make a nice chart to share with us. If you make a beautiful chart, have your parents take a picture of it and they can email it to your teacher, either me or Mrs. Green or both of us, um, and we can take a look at it. I would love to see what you come up with. And you can include pictures also, because a lot of my kids have been emailing, having their parents uh, email pictures of their work. It's been beautiful, love it. Love it. Hashtag Mason Learners. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Um, I will see you guys soon. I miss you so much. And take care and happy math. Bye.